Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to add products from Airtable to WooCommerce. So if you want to create products in WooCommerce every now and then, then you have to do it manually again and again. Rather, I would like to suggest use this automation where you can collect all the information related to that product in your Airtable record and integrate Airtable and WooCommerce in such a way that when a new record is added in Airtable, the product gets created in WooCommerce. This automation can be created with the help of Pabli Connect, where our trigger will be the new record created in Airtable and our action will be to create a product in WooCommerce. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we will learn how can you create a product in your WooCommerce every time you add the details of that specific product in your Airtable record. So like this is my Airtable record that I have created specifically for WooCommerce and here are my WooCommerce products that I have created. Alright, so like I have created a product called OnePlus 10 right here and here it is created. So we are going to do the same. Let us understand how can you create this automation. Quickly sign in into our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all these applications provided by Pabli and we are going to use Pabli Connect to integrate the two applications WooCommerce and Airtable today. Click on access now. That will take you to this place that is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Click on this big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as add products from Airtable to WooCommerce. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you will be seeing on your screen. We have trigger and action windows over here. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. Now before we st understand the functioning of these two windows, make sure that you have prepared an Airtable record right here and then you have also opened your WooCommerce store. So now we will understand that trigger application is for the first application that is where the event will take place. For example, in this workflow, our trigger application is going to be Airtable because first the event will be creating a new record in your Airtable record and then the action will be WooCommerce where the new product will be created and that is going to take place automatically and we are going to trigger this event manually. So the trigger event this time is new record, click on connect add new connection and then you have to enter a token in order to connect Airtable and Pabli Connect. Now the reason behind integrating Pabli Connect and Airtable is that whenever a new record will be added, that information of that complete record will be sent over here to Pabli Connect because that is going to be used to create a new product. So the token will be provided to us from the developer hub section. Click on developer hub and then you have to create a new token button. Give a name to your token and then add scope and add base to that. So what are the scopes that you need to add are given right over here. You can see and one by one choose the scopes that you want. Click on create new token. Here I will give the title as WooCommerce product. Okay, now add scope. So I already know what are the scopes that you need to add. There are in total seven scopes. So I'm adding each of them one by one. You can cross check all the names of the scope from this place where you are given these instructions. And when it comes to base, you have to add the base, all current and future bases and all current and future workspaces. Once you're done with all these selection, click on create token and then a token will be provided to you. Copy this part and paste it in the token section. Click on save and your connection is established. Okay, now once this is done, you will see a base, table and trigger field is given over here. So you have to have a base where a table will be created. Like we have a base right here. Now you can cancel out this tab of developers hub Airtable. Now this is the name of your base and this is the name of your table. Over here, make sure that when you create columns for your products, you have created one more extra column over here, which is called the create time column. That will be called the trigger column. So when Pabli Connect captures all the response filled inside this, so it will cover till this last column, that is the trigger column. All right, the last updated column. So you choose your base from here. As you saw that the name of our base was WooCommerce. Here is our table. Now the trigger field has already detected create as our last field. As you can see, we have it over here. So let us just click on save and send test request. And also before that, make sure that you fill the new details over here. So I am going to add the new detail right here. The name of my next product over here is going to be washing machine from LG. I have the details of my product right here. So I will copy from here and paste. The regular price earlier, it was available for $135 and now it is available for $85. Okay, th that's the sale price. The weight is 6.5 kg. You don't need to mention kg over here. 
because it will automatically detect it's in kg only so image link so you have to drop a link over here for the image because once we are creating a product on a website over here so an image will be required for that so the image link is here is the image link all right so if i open it you will see that this is the image of the picture now i'm closing the image tab all right once this is done click on save and send test request and you will receive the response and here we have the weight the sale price the original price the name image link and we have the description also so now let us use this information to create a product in woocommerce coming to our action application window choose your action application as woocommerce and the event that you will be choosing will be to create a product click on connect add new connection and now you are connecting your action application and pably connect the reason being pably connect can send all of this information received as your trigger response to create a product in woocommerce you are supposed to enter the consumer key and consumer secret and website url so let us learn how you can do it if you can't remember what we are going to discuss in this video then you can take help from this instruction given over here so we are going to our woocommerce settings advanced in the menu then we have over here rest api click on rest api and here you will have all the api or the web hooks that are generally required for integration you have to click on add key and then give a name to your key over here i will add as the permissions are for read write both click on generate api key and you will receive the consumer key and the consumer secret both of them copy the consumer key and the secret key and paste it at their respective places now what is left is website url so you have to copy the website url for your woocommerce so make sure that you cover till wp3 and copy this complete section and paste it in its respective place it's this once the, all of this is done click on save and your connection will be established see it's done now we have the product name product slug type status which means there are various details that are generally required to create a product but if you fill this all one time only now when this workflow is going to run then the product details will change according to the new details added in this record which means that you don't have to manually create an order or a product again and again so let us add the product name you have to do a little bit of mapping over here mapping is basically using the information from the previous step to fill in the details of the action application so here when you click on any empty field it asks you to insert data from the previous step and gives you this drop down menu if you had two steps before this action application you would be given two drop down menus over here but now since we have just air table so you are going to take it from there what is the product name it's lg washing machine product slug you can leave it empty you don't have to provide this it's not a mandatory field product type is simple the status is to publish this product if you want to enter stock unit over here you can but we don't have that detail in our air table so you can leave it empty as well now what is the regular price yes we do have the regular price this is the regular price but what is the sale price we had 85 dollars as our sale price there was description also so you can map the description from here itself this is the description of our product okay now once you have already given the description no need to fill in the short description now dates and all if you want if they are in your record then you can map them i am not having that in my record so i am only mapping the details that are necessary for me now what are we left with we are left with the weight and the image of the product so let us find the weight over here here we have the weight now you can see the help desk says that provide product weight in kg only so you will straight away map the weight and do not write any kg gram any unit after that because it takes the weight in kg itself now no dimension width height is given over here only the image is given so we will just look for line item image url now re please remember that this is the field it's not a mandatory field that is why you have to pay attention that the image link has to be entered over here now map the image link here and then you have done almost every important thing required to create a product click on save and send test request and wait for the response and see the id has been created which means a completely correct workflow has been created it shows no error if there was any error it could have been corrected then and there but it shows no error which means our product has been created let us quickly close this window and go check in our woocommerce store that have we created a product or not here this is our woocommerce let us go to all the products and here we have the washing machine with the picture it is in stock the price it was earlier 135 now it's 85 so they have cancelled the real price and given the sale price to us all right so it is here if you view this then you see we have it right here right 
So which means that we were successful in creating a product using the details given in your Airtable record. So this was our trigger and WooCommerce was our action. I hope this workflow was useful. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.